All right, guys and gals, we have got two breaks on tap tonight. Impeccable Basketball by the Full Case and Select Football by the Full Case. And it looks like uh, we are going to have a team available in Impeccable. We're probably going to have a couple of teams available in Select Football, too. Uh, but the Dallas Mavericks, that's right, the big team, uh, is sitting unpaid in Impeccable. So if you are interested in picking up the Dallas Mavericks, now's the time to let me know. Yeah, and they were pricey. There's no question about that. They Their last bid, I think, was $414. So, you know, you got to love it. Got to love it when you get that unpaid stuff. People bid and then... And then don't pay, but anyway, uh, we will get back to that in a moment. Let's go over our pre-break information here first while everybody's getting in the room. So feedback is completely automated on eBay, and uh, that basically just means to you that uh, anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you're going to instantly get positive feedback in return and of course the second and most important message there is uh, to let you know that I do appreciate you being here so that's a big thank you and give me one second I'm going to type something into chat here as well about uh, the Mavericks so that that way uh, you guys as you come into the room can get a chance to see that once again that team is just Setting unpaid and impeccable. So right now we do have the Dallas Mavericks available in the upcoming break. We are looking right now at breaks that are listed on eBay that are going to be uh, breaking here in the next few days. So tomorrow night, a Gold Rush Trifecta football box. It's got three autograph memorabilia items in it. It can be anything from cleats to jerseys, footballs, uh, 16 by 20 photographs, all kinds of Mini helmets, I think all kinds of fun stuff can be in that. We will then open an autographed uh, basketball jersey from Gold Rush. And tomorrow night is, or tomorrow is the release of Contenders Optic Football. And we're going to break that by the Master Case. So that means we're going to open two 10 box inner cases of Contenders Optic tomorrow night, along with a fourth case of Leaf Best of Basketball. Saturday night, the half case of Heritage Baseball. That is uh, the back half of the case that we started earlier in the week. Sunday night is an off night. Monday night, Gold Rush Autograph Mini Football Helmet. Onyx Preferred Players Autograph Baseballs. Uh, another three box inner case of that. A fifth case of Impeccable Basketball. And then another master case of Contenders Optic Football. Tuesday night, Leaf Best of Basketball and more select football. So, guys, um, we are sitting here, of course, on uh, Impeccable with a bidder who did not pay for, at least has not at this time, paid for the Dallas Mavericks. That's right, the big team in Impeccable. So I need to find it a new home. If we can't find it a new home here in a few minutes, then we'll, uh, we may break select football first and slide impeccable basketball to the back of the break. But I don't want to do that. I would prefer not to do that. But obviously can't leave the Dallas Mavericks sitting open. That one is way too much money to have sitting out there. So here's information on this page about shipping. Everything we're opening tonight is a paid shipping break, and I'm anticipating it will be out the door and on the way to you approximately Monday. As always, if I can get something out sooner than Monday, I certainly will. And, uh, you know, if something goes off the rails, it could always go a day later, but I think Monday is a pretty reasonable expectation for this. And consolation cards. We don't need to worry about that in select football because there's plenty of cards in there. Every team's going to pull cards. However, in impeccable basketball, if you happen to not get pulled in that one, uh, your consolation cards will ship out to you with the rest of the break. And that's just simply because it is a paid shipping break. So there's no reason to hold on to it from that point. Now, before we put up our next part of the spreadsheet, we got to deal with these Dallas Mavericks. Um, so Dan, you're asking how much for them? Well, the last bid amount on eBay was $414, uh, but of course we're sitting here at break time trying to find a home for it. So if someone is interested in it, uh, please let me know that you're interested in it and we will then, 
uh, figure out where we need to go from there. And again, if I can't uh, move it out at a <clears throat> reasonable price right now, then we may potentially uh, open Select Football first and slide that on into uh, later, into the second break of the night, which isn't ideal since it's kind of a quick break. And we may also have unpaid teams in Select Football. Right now we do, so we'll see how that goes on from there. So Dan or Latchman, Griffin, anybody interested in the Dallas Mavericks tonight in impeccable football? Because I'm definitely uh, not willing to just let that sit there. That is uh, way too much money to leave setting out. You know, isn't it, it would be nice if eBay had a filter, right? Where you could just go in and block people who do stuff like this. <laughs> I mean, you can block people now, but you don't know who they are, right? Because you can't leave negative feedback for bidders. So you don't really know who they are until they come along and do something like this to you. So not only do they leave you in a bad spot, they hijack the break while we wait and try to do something. So Dan, are you interested in the Mavericks? Yes, no, maybe. If not, then guys, we're just going to move on and do select football um, and, uh, we'll come back to Impeccable if that's the way we end up needing to do it. And hopefully, uh, somebody will decide in the interim if they want it. Right now, it doesn't seem like we've got any action on it, so it may be that we're going to move into Select. But guess what? We're going to have to do the same thing in Select because we've got more wonderful unpaid bidders tonight. And in Select Football, we've got the Buffalo Bills open. Their last bid amount was $123. Yeah, oh, Ben, I'm sorry. I can't do 100 on Dallas. I do appreciate your willingness to offer that. But, I mean, that against a $400 bid uh, definitely can't do 100 So, guys, when I'm saying make an offer, I, I mean... Um, Something that is in the realm of what we had for the bid amount. But if no one is interested in them, then we're going to go ahead and go to select. We'll just table impeccable. And we'll have to uh, come back and revisit that later after we break select, I guess. And in select, guys, I have the Buffalo Bills available unpaid. So those, uh, the last bid amount was let's see the last bit amount in that was 123 dollars and some change so who might be interested in picking up the buffalo bills in select football no guys i get it i know that the mavericks sold high and i you know i understand that's a big time commitment so and i do appreciate you know those of you who are, have some interest in it just sitting from my standpoint of course uh, that's a really big one to sit there and take a hit on at that kind of money. And unfortunately, you have people who just do this sort of thing, I guess, almost as like a hobby, as a sport. I don't know why they do it. So, Bills, Buffalo Bills. Anybody interested in them and select football? Are we going to end up with a bunch of uh, stuff tonight sitting unpaid, it looks like. Going to be one of those nights, isn't it? I guess it is. Um, Scott, that is perfectly fine for Buffalo Bills. I will happily take that and we'll move on down the line. Um, and Griffin, I see you uh, in there and I appreciate that. Scott jumped in right ahead of you though. Scott, do you happen to, uh, are you good if I type in my, my email address? that I use for PayPal, are you okay with just sending it over directly that way? Or do you need me to invoice you? Let me know what works best for you. Meanwhile, let me get this updated here as to who's going to have this. I'm going to update the spreadsheet. Bear with me for a moment. AJJD. All right. I'm trying to write down your, your YouTube username, at least, so that that will remind me, prompt me to see what's going on. All right. Super, Scott. I'm typing it in here for you right now. And guys I, and gals, I don't really use this email that you see me typing in for correspondence. So if you need to reach me, please reach out to me. Um, I typed it in wrong. <laughs> at, reach out to me at 
gmail.com, leaderofthepackbreaks at gmail.com, or of course you can uh, reach out to me through eBay messages, which is what I check most frequently. All right, and thank you all for your patience once again. I, you know, we find ourselves doing this more and more, it seems. More and more people these days bidding and not paying, and I know it's kind of a drag to start out breaks that way. I don't like it either, so I appreciate your patience and your willingness to step up here. And I'm going to get uh, signed in right here. All right, so Scott, if you can let me know when you are squared away on your side, we're going to go ahead and uh, open select football first while we are trying to find ourselves someone who will pick up the Dallas Mavericks in impeccable basketball. That's, that is who is looking for a home right now. Scott, you've got it done. All right, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. We have got you all squared away then. I am going to get our updated spreadsheet put up here. And let me get this taken care of. Ah, bum, 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 bum. Hang on one quick second here. All right, we always got to do some stuff on eBay to get rid of these things, too, when we have problems that have, uh, are unpaid. So I want to make sure all that is buttoned up as well so we can move on forward. And once again, guys, we are going to be reversing the order that we would have been breaking in tonight since we're still sitting on the uh, Mavericks. That, uh, yeah, the guy actually uh, sent me a message. So this is how you know it's it's not on the up and up, right? The guy <laughs> sends me a message that, oh, he called and verified that he has three days to pay for his item. So, you know what? And you can see he's done breaks in the past. So, you know, right there, it's somebody just gambling. You know, they want to wait and see. If they pull something, they would have paid me. And if they didn't, they wouldn't. Yeah, we've seen that happen a lot, haven't we? All right, kids, so we are going to roll on with select football first up tonight, and impeccable basketball will be later. And once again, our eBay end date is tonight, Thursday night, the 28th of February, and we have uh, the Buffalo Bills were unpaid in here, picked up by Scott. Thank you very much, Scott A. Double J. D. And everybody else, of course, you'll see your name across from your team name there. XRC Redemptions, they have their own bidding spot. I imagine everybody saw that in the listing description. And there are supposed to be about three of those per case. That's what Panini tells us we should find on average. And so far we've been finding exactly that amount. So I would say that's about where we're going to end up tonight too. You probably noticed right there that the background went out of focus by a little tiny bit. And um, that was on purpose as well. That's so we can get a good look at everything up nice and close. And uh, yeah, so even though the background went out of focus, don't worry, you're going to be able to see everything else. So, and in chat tonight, of course, I've been busy uh, trying to round up money to get the Mavericks paid for. And I don't think I said hi to everybody. So Latch is here, Griffin's here, Dan and Greg. Um, Greg, I knew you were going to be happy about Bryce Harper. I saw you type that in there a minute ago. Uh, as soon as I saw that news alert pop up today that, that the Phillies had signed Bryce Harper, I thought of you first, Greg. I knew you were going to be so jazzed for your Phillies. And man, didn't they pay him some money. Well, you knew it was going to have to be the highest contract ever because you knew Boris, his agent, wasn't going to take anything any less than the highest contract ever. So it's $330 million over 13 years with no opt-out. I thought that was interesting. So no opt-out on either side, apparently, which is, uh, the, according to the news reports, the way that Bryce Harper wanted it with no opt-outs. That's super unusual these days. But anyway... And Dan is here, and Latch is here, and Ben, welcome. This is your first break, you said. I know it was a terrible way to start out there, dealing with all those unpaid things, trying to find homes for teams. 
you know, it's usually a lot more smooth than that to uh, a break around here. Except when we get these people who like to monkey around and not pay for their stuff. Then it gets a little bit like it was tonight. Yeah, a little bit. And um, let's see, who else is here right now? Lashman says, yeah, people, if they can't afford it, they shouldn't bid. Yeah, true that. I mean, and some people, it is that. They'll just tell you, oh, yeah, I shouldn't have bid that amount. I can't pay for it. Uh, but then there's a whole subset of people who bid, and they don't care what they pay because they don't pay ahead of time, and they gamble that you will do the break and let it ride. I used to do that, and I don't do that anymore, as you all well know. But that's what they do. And then if they hit something good, oh, that payment comes in immediately. Probably comes in even during the actual break. But if they don't hit anything, oh, guess what? You never see or hear from them again. And it must be profitable for them to do it that way. They must have a lot of people that they're able to do that with because uh, they certainly keep doing it. Last I know, you do collect for your grandson, and you have had some really nice hits for him, too. He's going to be, he's going to have quite the collection, you know? When you get to old enough to appreciate it, he's going to understand how much work you put into all these collections. It's going to be crazy. Hi, T. Cassidy. And hi, Jesse. Jesse says, good luck to whoever beat him out on the Saints. <laughs> Yeah, I hear you. All right, we're going to find loads of cards in here that are like this. They are prisms and they are refractors. That is one and the same. I'm probably going to call it a, a refractor as much as I call it a prism. Just know that I mean the same thing when I say that. Lots of red, white, and blue. These tricolor are numbered to 199. We won't flip them all over because we know now what they're going to be numbered to. Uh, so from there on, I'll just, you know, say 199 when we hit one of those. Kansas City Chiefs, Larry Johnson to 199. And there's a little Baker Mayfield prism insert. I forgot to say what we're looking for in here, didn't I? Two autographs and one memorabilia, by the way. Yeah, two and one. Oh, our die cut's trying to fly away. Let's get our die cut picked back up. Hi, Kay. This is your first break here, too. Well, congratulations. And Bobby B is here. Hi, Bobby B. Marquez Veldez Scantling to 49 die cut for the Packers. And um, Bobby B, hey, do you want the Mavericks <laughs> and Impeccable? Because guess what? You can imagine what Bobby B, you know the drill. Yeah, winning bidder didn't pay for it. That's a refractor for Andrew Luck. Before that, we saw one for Andy Dalton. So I'm sad. So we moved the impeccable break, Bobby B. Uh, we're doing it after select because I've got the Mavericks sitting there unpaid, and uh, I need somebody to give it a home. You want to give it a home, Bobby? I know you do. That's numbered to 99 for Larry Fitzgerald. That, again, the difference, guys, in those two cards. Uh, so when we see this one, they're to 99. This one to 199. So that's kind of in general how it's going to roll. That was a Darius Geis. And mostly when I say their names, if I don't say a number behind it, then just know that that means it was a prism slash refractor. It's my man, Big Ben Roethlisberger, who has been catching some serious heat lately for being a bad uh, leader. <laughs> oh, look at that patch. That's numbered to 50, but you know what? That is an awesome patch. How often do you get to see part of the logo for the Titans in a patch? I hardly ever do. Not the flaming part, anyway. So that is pretty cool for Marcus Mariota and the Titans. I like that a lot. And that is Austin Eckler for the Chargers. Followed by DeAndre Hopkins and the Texans. Bobby, you know what... Um, the bid amount was $414, Russell Wilson, 
and another Russell Wilson one. You see the blue ones. The blue ones are to 175. And the current offer that we have on the table here in the room, Bobby B, is 100. So, of course, you know, there's a too much disparity there for, for that, unfortunately. So that is why we have decided to break select first and push Impeccable back a little bit. Josh Rosen for the Cardinals. Todd Gurley, when we see the red, it's numbered to 99. So the blue is to 175, the red is to 99. And most of those I'll probably actually just wait and sleeve after the break. We probably won't do them all as we go along. Just did those out of habit. Ito Smith for the Falcons, numbered to 75. Nice little hit there for Atlanta. Stefan Diggs, and that is the end of box one. Oh, the used to hate basketball. <laughs> Hey, listen, I, you know, I feel you. But, of course, at least with the Mavericks, you know who you're looking for. Doncic. Just pretty much him. And maybe you get lucky and pull some other stuff along the way. But that's who you would be, of course, looking for in there. And if we were to hit it, it would be outstanding. And we have hit it. We have hit it at Impeccable before. So he's definitely in there, floating around. So Bobby B's at 175 for the Mavericks and Impeccable. So that's our, that's our current standing bid. If uh, we can get anybody else in on the Dallas Mavericks, that would be extremely helpful. I mean, basically, if I take out the bid for the Mavericks, uh, that means I'm in the hole by quite a big amount. Not that that's your all's fault. It certainly is not. <laughs> it's the person who didn't pay for it. But, but yeah, I mean, that's of all the teams for it to be, you know. Should have caught it sooner than I did. I didn't catch it until it was like 10 minutes after that it was going to be that kind of situation but what are you gonna do latch you spent 70 dollars at walmart today with your grandson after you got him from school well good what'd you all get it's a harrison smith hopefully you found some fun stuff in there there's a nice little saquon um prism of course as you all know there's several different photos in here and depending on which one, you know, this is field level. There's field level and concourse, and I think Premier is the is the third one. Each one of those tends to have a different image. Alex Collins for the Ravens, a Jaleel Scott to 175 for the Ravens. Bobby B, I didn't do a second chance on eBay because I ran out of time. Um, I, as I said, I didn't realize exactly what situation I was in until about 10 minutes before the break was ready to go. And then the person is emailing me back. And so I'm, you know, trying to reach out and find out what's going on. Then of course you see the end result. Then we end up with, with the team just sitting there. So yeah. So that's the bad news with that. And the second, the underbidder was not anybody I, I really recognized offhand either. Um, so, you know, that's another situation where when you don't know somebody, they kind of are suspect when you just out of the blue send them a second chance offer sometimes. At least that's what I have found. That relic was for Sam Darnold and the Jets to 199 Derwin James and the Chargers. Another Derwin James and the Chargers. And there's a Miles Garrett red to 99. That's for the Browns. And you know, if you're like a lot of us are, when you don't win one break, you know, you just kind of keep on bidding elsewhere. Whereas if you have spent the money, then you don't, your resources are allocated. You know what I mean? So sometimes I think it's harder to do that way as well. But for that reason. Rodney Hampton comes out for the New York Giants. That is numbered to 75. And there's Denzel Ward. 
Here comes Mike White and the Dallas Cowboys to 49. <laughs> Lashman says the new rule should be that I check the high price team first. I know, I know. It's just one of those things where, um, you know, there's so much going on in those in that time from our break ends and the time where we go live. That was Alvin Kamara and Julio Jones on refractors. Then to 199, you have a little Calais Campbell there for the Jags. Yeah, that's really just a large part of the problem is there's a lot going on between invoicing and answering messages and trying to get spreadsheets done and get everything set up. And before you know it, uh, you run out of time. And that's what happened tonight. It's Adrian Peterson for the Redskins. And here's a Larry Fitzgerald for the Cardinals to 10. How about that? Little Larry Fitzgerald. Oh, man. I got the wrong sleeve. Sorry about that. That looks a little better. I think we're in there a little more solidly at that point. And Lorenzo Carter. Uh-oh, Bobby V's making a deal with me. I got to see what it is, though. Calvin Ridley. This is to 99 Brandon Cooks for the Rams. I only had, I looked over there and he said, I tell you what, I'll make a deal. I was like, uh-oh, I better wait and give that my full attention. <laughs> Um, oh. <laughs> dang, Bobby, that's like, that's a, that's a tough one. <laughs> I have to find you a gold autograph to 10 for one of your four teams in select. And then you're willing to go higher on Impeccable. Well, who are your four teams, Bobby? You got to remind me. You know, I'm terrible at remembering that. Uh, I just, you know, I do the cut and paste almost on autopilot when I'm making the spreadsheet. And I usually... And multitasking when I do it as well so that can make uh, life a little interesting in terms of me trying to remember all of that so you gotta remind me who they are who they are well Griffin you can't put negative feedback for buyers I mean that's the whole thing if you could like you used to be able to but you haven't been able to for years that's why people who only buy always have 100% positive feedback. And they'll always tell you that. Oh, you can trust me. I have 100% positive feedback. <laughs> and you're thinking, well, there's no possible way for you to not have 100% positive feedback unless you sell. <laughs> I mean, not possible to have anything less as a bidder. So, yeah, you can't do anything but block them. That's all you can do, unfortunately. Sam, in the impeccable break, it's a case break, but impeccable only has uh, three boxes per case. So it's a $1,500 case of cards, and it has three boxes make up a case. Isn't that crazy? Of course, I guess it's no crazier than, the, than what we pay for Flawless. That's got two boxes of cards in it, and, you know, or $2,500 a case for that. So I guess... When it comes to it, we're probably all crazy in many ways when it comes to these cards. But we love them. We can't help ourselves. This is Baker Mayfield um, prism. And that is uh, the field level prism as well. And here we have Christian McCaffrey. A points card. So we'll give that out at the end of the break using random.org. It's Joe Mixon. And our first XRC. It probably means, too, by the way, that we're going to have a good hit in this case. Usually we see rewards points means there's a good hit in the offing somewhere. A little Josh Allen prism. And it is the concourse level, which technically is the hardest one to pull. But yet you still pull them pretty easily, if you know what I mean, if you follow what I'm saying there. Our first XRC of the night is for quarterback three, QB three. And once again, remember XRC had its very own bidding spot. So all those XRC cards uh, go to that bidding spot. Anthony Miller for the Bears and numbered to 199. That was DJ Moore and the Panthers. We have Vaughn Miller for the Broncos. 
That is numbered to 10 with Miles Garrett to 20. I'm sorry, I said to 10. It's to 25 for Miles Garrett and the Browns. Uh, it's I just caught the gold. It's actually a tie dye. See what happened? I looked at one edge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's our first tie dye of the night coming out. Tie dye is always to 25, and our beautiful little gold is what is numbered to 10. James, you said you think Selects gives us two points cards per case. I don't think so. I don't think we have found two per case, have we? And every time, maybe we have, but every time we have found one, we've gotten a big hit. I can tell you that. <laughs> I've never opened Select without uh, finding a big hit when we find a points card, and that usually works for most places where we find it, but you might be right, man. I mean, uh, I don't know, but it does take the place of a hit. That was a Pat Mahomes refractor. This is numbered to 99. A little Sony Michelle relic with a stripe, a pinstripe. Oh, we like that, don't we? I do anyway. Yeah, I mean, you might, uh, you might be right, Jesse. I don't know. We have found points cards in most of our cases, but again, in most of them, I think we've also had big hits, so... In my experience, those kind of things go hand in hand. Christian McCaffrey to 199 for the Panthers. Next up is Peyton Barber to 99. Wow. For the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I would not have figured Peyton Barber. I mean, that's not one you pull very often. So there you go. Usually Tampa Bay Buccaneers has been Ronald Jones. That was Zach Ertz, and there's another Pat Mahomes. This is to 199 with Big Ben Roethlisberger, Mike White for the Cowboys, Jimmy G for the 49ers. That is number 299, and then our last base card out of that box as we keep on trucking here. Oh, was it XRC? It was an XRC tie-dye. Good call. I just looked at the player. I didn't look at the fact that it was tie-dye. Dang, too bad that wasn't QB1, huh? Yeah, that would have been something. But nonetheless, the XRCs and tie-dye don't come out super often. So yeah, Bobby, thanks for pointing that out, catching that when I missed it. We might have caught it when I recapped, but I surely did not... Uh, catch the tie-dye part of that when we were looking at it live. So good catch, my friend. Thank you very much. Lashman, you said um, to end the bidding earlier. Oh, you mean to give more time? Yeah, I mean, I have various points. I've toyed with the idea of just Ending them the night before, ending the bids one night, you break the product the next night. And I do know breakers who do it that way. I just personally don't prefer it that way. I think it's more fun to just be able to go break it the night you buy it. But that's probably coming from my experience as a bidder. You know, when I buy into other people's breaks, I prefer for them to be the same night. And when they're scheduled off in the future, I have a hard time remembering when the break is and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, I don't know. Fortunately, you know, it seems like it comes in waves. We'll do really well for a while and not have problems, which is great. And then we'll go through periods where we definitely do have some problems. <laughs> and most of the time it's something like, well, if it's a worst case scenario and you get stuck with it, I can live with it. You know, it costs you money, but you can live with it. And I've had a few of those that I did let ride for various reasons, and virtually every one of them cost me money. But yeah, this one tonight, that's just too, that's too important to let ride. The, the Mavericks and Impeccable tonight is too important to let, to let ride. So, Griffin, you need a Brett Favre or an Aaron Rodgers. And, um... Bobby B, you said you're just in here so you won't get fined. <laughs> Alvin Kamara for the Saints. That's the 199 Melvin Ingram and the Chargers. That's pretty funny, Bobby. That's Jalen Ramsey and the Jags. 
I, uh, I like that. Very dry sense of humor. I appreciate that. <laughs> but hey, Bobby, you still didn't tell me who your teams are. So I don't even know. You said you'd make a deal with me. I don't even know what teams I'm trying to make a deal on, man. You gotta let me know. <laughs> ah, Southside Collectibles. How are you? Yeah, we moved Impeccable back. Um, we'll talk about it more in a minute because I'm kind of digging on this patch right here for Mike Gasicki and the Dolphins. We've got a part of the logo there too, so that's a pretty handsome fellow as well it should be because guess what? It's numbered to five, so we should have a nice patch on it being numbered to five. J.J. Watt. So yes, Southside Collectibles, the reason we moved Impeccable back to the second break of the night to 99 Zach Ertz is because we're sitting on the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, that person has not paid for their team, and I need to find a new home for that team. And so we moved Select up uh, first, and then we'll break Impeccable after we finish Select. And hopefully, uh, well, if nothing else, we know Bobby B is willing to pick them up at a, at a heavy discount, but it would be better than having it unsold. Tremaine Edmonds to 199 for the Buffalo Bills. Falcons, Saints, Eagles, and Bucks. Ooh, you're going to make my life hard on that, aren't you? Will Disley and the Seahawks. James Washington. That is numbered 175 for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Another Andrew Luck. Uh, this is Jordan Thomas to 199 for the Texans. And Lynn Dawson, Kansas City Chiefs. And welcome, Southside Collectibles, by the way. I don't think I said that, but welcome to you. Russell Wilson, Seahawks, a little Melvin Gordon. Here comes Mike White for the Cowboys. Can you all even believe Jason Witten is coming back out of retirement? Signed, another, uh, signed a one-year deal with the Cowboys today, I guess. Mike White to 99. So, yeah, 16 seasons in the NFL, one in the broadcast booth, and then, huh, back to the NFL. Deshaun Watson, Texans. And I think, who else was it then that started saying they were thinking about coming back because Witten was coming back? Like, DeMarcus Ware or somebody, somebody like that uh, came out and said, well, you know, if he can do it, I maybe I should think about it. With Sony Michelle and the Patriots, Adrian Peterson, and the Redskins, and we have ourselves our second tie-dye of tonight. This is Antonio Callaway to 25 for the Cleveland Browns. Yes, I know Southside Collectibles. That's the problem. <laughs> that's why. That's why we decided to go ahead, and or I decided to go ahead and break Select Football first. You know, if it had been $75, even $100, I would have just said, eh, whatever, you know, it's not ideal and I'm probably not going to get paid for it, but I'll just deal with it. But when it's a $400 team, eh, you can't really just kind of say, eh, eh, never mind. <laughs> you know? But... At any rate, Bobby B is willing to step into the into the void. I think we've got the well, we got the offer on the the offer on the table right now from Bobby B for the Mavericks and Impeccable is one seventy five. Unless I can find him a tie dye or something numbered to ten, and then then he'll up it to two fifty. <laughs> so I got to work the mojo really hard, don't I? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, exactly, Southside Collectibles. I mean, that is, that is that team alone that makes or breaks whether or not you break even or lose money or make money on Impeccable is absolutely 100% tied to the Dallas Mavericks. So, yeah, I mean, I think any way I cut it, I'm going to end up, uh, you know, probably in the hole by a chunk of a car payment anyway. James, you were asking about the Indianapolis Colts. Um, we have had some refractors and things for the Indianapolis Colts, but I do not 
think we have had autographs or relics, not that I remember anyway. All right, this is Big Ben once again. I've seen lots of Big Ben refractors tonight. And behind that, James Washington, a pair of Steelers refractors back to back. Dolphins to 199 with Alonso, little Kiko Alonso relic. Not going to beat that Gasicki relic though, because that was uh, really nice. A Drew Brees refractor and an Antonio Brown to 175 with Steelers. How about that, by the way? The 49ers coming out today just stating publicly, yeah, we're not trying to trade for Antonio Brown. <laughs> oh, that probably undermined the, the uh, leverage the Steelers had to negotiate, right? <laughs> Antonio Brown. Just because A.B. was making it known that he wanted to go the 49ers, you know. The Steelers could have tried to play that card with other teams. But now, now they can't. Tremaine Edmonds and the Bills to 199. That is Rashad Penny and the Seahawks. And then, of course, the Browns want him. Steelers don't want to trade him within, within uh, AFC North, of course. Another Baker Mayfield prism. But they may have to. Zach Ertz. He would be... Wow, he would be a nice addition for the Browns, honestly. I mean, I'm a Steelers fan, but let's face it. He would be a big a big hit if the Browns got him. Put him in he and Jarvis Landry. That'd be pretty good. Chris Hogan to 49 for the Patriots. Jordan, you have uh, not missed Impeccable yet. I had to move it and do Select first. It's Todd Gurley for the Rams. Um, because we still are sitting on the Dallas Mavericks unpaid in Impeccable. So I need to either have that bid or pay for it, which isn't looking terribly likely. Or I need to find a new home for it amongst uh, one of you here in chat tonight. Current offer on the table is at 175. The last bid amount on eBay, of course, was 400 and something. To 49, Sam Darnold and the Jets. Obviously, the closer I would get to the actual bid amount, the happier I would be. But I think everybody priority knows that. <laughs> Ronald Jones, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and number 99. There's Bradley Chubb and the Broncos. But so that's why it got moved back, Jordan. DeAndre Hopkins, Texans. And then Khalil Mack to 99 for the Bears. Hayden Hurst and the Ravens. A tie-dye Roquan Smith to 25. Chicago Bears. And the last one there, Andrew Luck. So, yeah, Jordan, if you're interested in the Dallas Mavericks, hey, man, type it up in chat and let me know. As I said, standing total, standing offer at the moment uh, is Bobby's at 175. These are all of a sudden coming out with like half the cards and going in one direction, half the cards going in another direction. Isn't that weird? Because you can open loads of it where they all go in the same direction. And then all of a sudden, you'll start getting packs where they go in multiple directions. Like, who does that collating, I'd like to know. Because you would think it would be consistent. Now, wouldn't you? It doesn't work that way, though. Does not work that way. 
Mike, I will do a recap at the end of autographs and relics and low numbered stuff like the tie dye stuff, you know, and the die cuts. I usually set the die cuts out separately as well. So tie dye, uh, which are 25 or less, gold, which are 10 or less, die cuts, the XRC redemptions, relics and autographs are typically what we would recap out of here. Because as you know, there's tons and tons of numbered cards in here, but we kind of tend to recap the just the lower numbered ones, really. Julio Jones and the Falcons, that's numbered to 199. It is DJ Chark and the Jags. Jamon Moore for the Packers. And a Sterling Shepherd to 49 for the Giants. I don't know where your Carson Wentz is. I'm trying. <laughs> Why didn't you have the case where we pulled him out? It was like a die cut autograph to five. Where were you that case, man? LaShawn McCoy. And Darius Leonard to 175. That would have been the time to jump in and get him, man. That was a sweet, sweet little hit for Carson Wentz that night. Um... A redemption. It's going to sit right there, face down. I know. Cruel and unusual punishment. At the end of the break, we flip all the redemptions over at once, and then we find out uh, who each of them is, and we go to the Panini website, find out what they're going to be numbered to, and all that jazz. That was a Brett Favre prism, followed by a Roquan Smith prism. Why oh, am I getting ready to open another box? I can't open another box. I still have stuff sitting here. <laughs> That's Kyle Lawletta. I'm getting ahead of myself. Cam Newton for the Panthers. A little Mason Rudolph to 75 for my Pittsburgh Steelers. Harrison Smith, Vikings. To 99, Christian Kirk and the Cardinals. Yeah, that got fired up again today big time, by the way. There's a nice little Nick Mullins uh, prism. The rumor mill, all the talking heads keep going back and forth about the Cardinals and Kyler Murray versus the Cardinals and Josh Rosen. And that got a bunch of them started up again today with the Cardinals are going to take Kyler Murray. So who knows? Maybe there's more truth to that than we would have thought. Alex Collins for the Ravens. Then we have Rashad Penny, Seattle Seahawks. What's that numbered to? Where is the number? Oh, to 99. Not too interesting on that relic, though, now, was it? Ooh, our zebra is a die cut. Woohoo! And it is Pat Mahomes. Oh, I like that. For Kansas City Chiefs. So the zebras are one per case. They're supposed to be. We did have a case where we didn't have one at all, but they're intended to be one per case. Panini's famous on average. They are not numbered, uh, but being that they're case hits, they are pretty tough to pull. Ooh, here's Dallas Goddard. Why can't you be numbered to 10, Dallas Goddard? <laughs> but he's not. He's numbered to 199 for the Philadelphia Eagles and Bobby B. And that is an Evan Ingram prism. I know that Mahomes, yeah, right? How cool was that? I love that. First of all, I like when the zebra is a die cut. For some reason, that's just more interesting to me because there are fewer die cuts in the product. And then it was Mahomes on top of that. Yeah, that was sweet. That was a nice little hit. It made me happy. And if you have the Kansas City Chiefs, it made you happy as well, I would imagine. Meanwhile, I'm still just trying to find Bobby B's tie-dye or something. 
trying so hard. Working the mojo for you, man. But yeah, we had uh, one case. The case where we didn't have the zebra, we had, um, was a really nice one of one. I can't even remember who was on the card. I know that's awful, but it was, uh, I think, a laundry tag that also, that had the NFL shield and the Nike swoosh on it, and it was a one-of-one. One. might have been Dante Pettis, but I wouldn't totally swear to that. But whatever case we had that card in, we didn't get a zebra in. Mike, we have had some Barkley... Um, like prisms, things like that, but we haven't had a Barclay autograph or relic come out yet. At not to this point, anyway. There's a die cut. I'm going to just grab him. I felt him sliding around in there. Just grab him and get him on out of the way. It's Philip Lindsay, Denver Broncos to 49. Of course, Philip Lindsay and Nick Mullins, uh, neither one had cards until very late in the season, just the last few products, so... Anytime you pull one of those in a variation, it's good. There was a Derek Carr a second ago, Jordan Howard as well, prisms. A Brennan Scarlet prism for the Texans, Alvin Kamara to 199 for the Saints, and a Christian McCaffrey for the Panthers. Well, we may as well go ahead and get uh, Mr. Terrell Suggs because I saw him laying there. He is numbered to 99, Baltimore Ravens Relic. Yeah, there is a redemption for sure. We don't know who's under there yet, of course. That could be that could be Barkley. Absolutely, it could be. We don't know. To 99, Calvin Ridley. And then, of course, we had the Anthony Miller Refractor for the Bears. Dolphins are on fire tonight. To 49, it is Luke Falk. Dolphins are, that one's got a lot of curvature to it, more so than the others we've seen tonight, by the by. I'm sure many, most, probably all of you know that uh, these cards that have this type of coating on them that allow them to be refractors and that make them, you know, kind of this chrome sort of feel often have a tendency to kind of bow up, curve up a little bit when they come out of the pack. DJ Moore and the Carolina Panthers. That is number 275, relic and autograph. A Sony Michelle prism. Jesse Bates prism. Oh, Joshua, you are asking about um, impeccable basketball. That's Cooper Cup. There are three boxes in the case. It's a $1,500 case of cards. I know, but there's only three boxes in it. It's Jalen Samuels for uh, the Steelers. It is, of course, primarily uh, hits, as you might expect. Everything in it is numbered, including the base cards. It has Each box has a metal card in it. Two of the boxes will have what's called stainless stars one of those will be autographed one of them will not and then there's a third metal card that will actually be an ingot it will either be a silver or gold an ounce you know like a little ingot this is numbered to 99 calvin ridley and the falcons and those are like the second pack in each box and then the primary pack has your numbered cards and your autographs and all that miles garrett and the browns and, of course, if you've ever opened Impeccable Football, it's a really similar kind of deal to Impeccable Football, if you're familiar with the brand. Joey Bosa, the 99. Well, I mean, you know, the technical brand is Panini, but you know what I mean. The, the product line, I guess I should say. So Odell Beckham Jr. and the Giants. Um, Scott, you want to throw out 240 for the Mavericks? Um, all right. Well, Scott then currently took over the high bid for the Dallas Mavericks at 240. So that's where we sit on it right at the moment. Joshua, you saying how many cards per box? I think it is nine. Don't absolutely quote me on that, but I think it's nine. If you happen to have... Um, 
If you pull up any of my listings for Impeccable, if you scroll down to the bottom of the description, I will always cut and paste the manufacturer's information in there. And usually that will tell you, like, here's, you know, what to expect in a box, in a pack, in a case. And that, I hope, I think, would tell us exactly, but I'm pretty sure it's nine per box. It's an odd number for whatever reason. I think it's nine. Well, for sure, Bobby, one metal, I, I, didn't, I didn't call them inserts, I just said metal card, but yes, there's definitely a metal in every box. One will be a stainless stars unsigned, one will be a stainless stars that is signed, and then one will be that ingot. Those ingot cards, by the way, can sell for a lot of money. The silvers are numbered to 22, and we haven't pulled a gold this year. I don't remember what the golds are even numbered to, but you don't pull them very often. I think we pulled maybe one last year, we pulled none so far this year. So Bobby B, you're up to 250 for the Mavericks, so that's where we're sitting right now. At 250 for the Mavericks and Impeccable, which we'll be opening after we do select. And of course I will check one more time after we do select to see if the bidder uh, themselves actually paid, but my uh, expectation is that they haven't. So I don't really think that they will have, but we'll see. We'll check it again after we finish up select. Josh Rosen, Arizona Cardinals. Here comes our next XRC, and it is running back five. So we've got uh, the tie-dye, QB, whatever it was, three or four. Was it three? And then running back five. That's two of the three that we're expecting to find tonight. Russell Wilson, Seahawks. To 199, there's Todd Gurley and the Rams. Juju Smith-Schuster Steelers, Miles Garrett for the Browns, numbered to 99. Ah, here comes a Colt. You asked me for a Colt earlier. I think that was James that asked about a Colt. Numbered to 99, it is Edgerin James with a relic for Indy. We looked at these already, didn't we? Yes, we did. If I don't see anything glowing in them, I know we've already looked through them. Jordan Howard Bears. The Redskins to five. Ryan Kerrigan. Oh, that's nice. They put it in upside down, though, didn't they? <laughs> I mean, because look, I mean, it would have to be in S or S. I mean, either way, that's upside down. You know, that's what it, that's how it should have been in there. Because that's the part of the N and part of the S. That's not part of the S and the K, I don't think. It doesn't look like the K to me. It looks like the N. And even so, if it was the K, it'd have a letter on the other side. Yeah, I'm pretty well convinced that's in there upside down. But anyway, Ryan Kerrigan, Redskins to five. Nice hit. Sometimes when they do weird things with the relics, like put them in upside down, eh, makes them more interesting to certain people. Cam Newton and the Panthers... Darius Geis and the Redskins. I mean, you guys remember we pulled the one card out of, was it XR? One card we pulled earlier this year that was really low numbered. It was a dual team, dual player card, and it was numbered to like five or ten or something. And the relics were incredible, but they were for the wrong teams. Neither player, and it's not like they reversed them, you know, put the one on the top that should have been on the bottom, etc. It was for two completely different teams than the players on the card. Jordy Nelson to 75 for the Raiders. So sometimes um, those become more collectible when they're errors, oddly. Odell Beckham Jr., Giants. Josh Allen, Buffalo Bills. We have ourselves a die cut. Troy Aikman for the Cowboys to 49. How about those boys? Bobby, you're feeling it for Luca tonight? You're feeling like the Mavericks are going to pull Luca? Maybe. You might be right. Deshaun Hamilton Broncos. That is numbered to 99. It's Drew Brees and the Saints. Rashad Penny, Seahawks. 
Yeah, we have pulled him once, I think, so far out of Impeccable and, well, autograph-wise. We pulled another Stainless of him, too, but one autograph so far. Andrew Luck, Colts. San Francisco 49ers. It is Ricky Waters, numbered to 25. Not too shabby there for San Fran. I went to Sam Darnold, and then that's just a base. So we are eight boxes down, four boxes left to go. There is still a redemption that we'll flip over at the end of the break. And then, of course, we've got that points card hanging around up there, too. We'll give it out as well using random.org at the end of the break. I'll scoot that a little bit so I have room to make a new pile. I am super excited for Contenders Optic Football tomorrow. I love that product. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And it breaks really quickly. I like that part too. <laughs> I know, right? It does. It's just, it's one pack uh, per box. But it is loaded with hits and crazy good resale value on Contenders Optics. So it should be kind of crazy, I think, tomorrow night, I hope that we're going to pull some crazy good stuff out of it. And you know, last year, I think I did most of them as 10 box, 10 box cases. And this year, I think we're going to do most of them as 20 box cases, which is really, it's really just two 10 box cases. They're technically, there isn't such a thing as like a single 20 box case. Cause when you open it up, it's still just two 10 box in our cases, but Anyway, you know those games Panini likes to play, so they slap two together in a bigger box and call it a master case. When really, it's just two 10-box cases. Alvin Kamara and the Saints. Dante Pettis to 199. Drew Brees for the Saints. TJ Watt and the Texans to 199. Kansas City Chiefs, Travis Kelsey to 15. There's your big tight end for KC. He is pretty amazing. I have to say, I do. I, I respect Travis Kelsey. He's awfully good. Dante Jackson and the Panthers. And a Calvin Ridley. There's the base that was behind him. I'll clear that out of the way. Calvin is numbered to 49. For the Falcons. Larry Fitzgerald again. Another points card. So you guys are right. Whoever is it that said, oh, you, we're going to find two. You're right. There's the other one. <laughs> you were on it. We have a 600 and a 400 point. There were a couple of you that said, oh, we'll find another one. You're right. We did. Although I swear I don't remember having two in most cases. Most of our cases of select, I really thought we only had one, but maybe we did. Ronald Jones, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and Ronald Jones again, but that one was to 99. Travis Kelsey, Kansas City Chiefs. Here comes another Suggs for the Ravens. We had one earlier. We've got another to go with it, but this one is a little lower numbered. Numbered to 25. A little tie-dye action for the Ravens. For the Jets, you have Robbie Anderson to 99 with a relic. And Keenan Allen for the Chargers. Antonio Brown, Steelers, and a die cut uh, for the Ravens with Alex Collins to 99. Lots of Ravens, haven't there been? Doesn't it seem that way? It does to me. Seems that way to me. Oh, Sam Darnold, Prism. 
our other XRC, and it is going to be wide receiver three, I think that says. We're going to take a better look at it here as soon as I get those out of the workspace. Yeah, you've got wide receiver three. So at least you got all three positions in XRC tonight. You've got a quarterback and, well, there's more than three possibilities in there. But you got three of the skilled positions in quarterback, uh, wide receiver, and running back. Hayden Hurst, Ravens. And one of them a tie-dye. So all in all, if you had XRC tonight, let's say you did pretty well. Buffalo Juniors here. Hi, Buffalo Junior. <laughs> you were going back through the comments, weren't you? You saw Bobby B giving you giving you some grief earlier <laughs> for having his uh, having hit his Philadelphia Eagles the night the Carson Wentz came out. It's a good thing you. It's a good thing you all are friends, isn't it? Ben, you said you don't know anything about football. What's the big hit? Well, it can be any number of things. I would say most people uh, would consider, if we were to pull Baker Mayfield, he's a real big hit in here for this year. The rookie quarterback for the Browns. Saquon Barkley, the rookie running back for the Giants, would also be a really big hit. But there's all kinds of things we could pull out of here, honestly. Because this has got a lot of veteran SIGs in it, too. And there can be tons of veteran stuff worth money. You know, we pulled a, we pulled a Tom Brady or something like that. So it's hard to say, you know. Last uh, The last case to select, we pulled a Baker Mayfield to five patch and autograph. And I would guess that thing would probably sell for somewhere in the two to $3,000 range would be my guess. So it just depends. It just depends. Buffalo Junior, you're here to get Bobby moral support. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. You're here to cheer him on. All right. I like it. I like it. It's good to have friends. Okay, it is Jason Sanders for the Dolphins. Mark Walton Bengals, that is Ito Smith and the Falcons. Ito is numbered to, oh gosh, numbered to 199, and he went flying right out of my hands because I was trying to get a sleeve. So let's get a little bit better look at him. Make sure he's not any worse for the wear. I believe he does appear to be okay, thankfully. Uh, thank goodness for mats and short distances. But nonetheless, obviously not ideal. Don't want him slipping out of my hands. He just took flight on me. Mark Mosley, number 225, coming out for the Washington Redskins, who actually have had a strangely quietly good break. So a little throwback tie-dye for the Skins. And the Dolphins. Man, the Dolphins have hit a ton of stuff tonight. Mike Gesicki to 75. I have to say, in most of our prior select cases, I don't know that the Dolphins hit anywhere near what they're hitting tonight. They seem to be doing an unusually well. Oh, Bobby, that was your card. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Oh, Bobby, you know if there, you know if it's not the way you want it to be when you get it. You know that uh, you let me know and I'll get you taken care of on it. I really don't see it looked fine to me, but um, you know when you get it. If it's if it's uh, got anything funky going on, you know I'll take care of you on it. Well, Southside, I would definitely agree with you. The biggest hit we've had so far is the Pat Mahomes uh, case hit zebra die cut. I would agree with that. To 199, Josh Rosen, Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, I would, uh, I would definitely agree with that. That was a prism. Stacked him in the wrong spot. Matt Stafford and the Lions. Drew Brees and the Saints, numbered to 199. That is Anthony Miller for the Bears. 
Cortland Sutton Broncos. Julio Jones. Hey, this is the first white border we've seen tonight. It's numbered to 75 for the Falcons. Haven't seen a tremendous number of white or blue or red really tonight. I mean, if some, but not like an extraordinary number of them. Gasicki again. This Devonta Freeman here will be to 49 for the Falcons. Demarius Thomas is out for the Texans in a prism. A little Nick Chubb for the Browns. There's uh, A.J. Green to 99 for the Bengals. I think he's to 99. Let me double check that pattern. Yeah, 99. So many patterns in here. So many, so many. <laughs> Bobby, you said you don't care about Edo Smith. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Yeah, I understand. I do, I do. Um, Jesse, I don't know what the zebra would be numbered to if they were numbered. I mean, I honestly, I don't know what the total uh, production run was on select. How many, how many players are on the zebra checklist? Does anybody know that? That might give me some idea. Obviously, the more players they have as possibilities in the Zebra, then you figure the lower the number of cards per player. But if they only had, say, 10 players, then you would know that there would be tons of cards for each player because you certainly know there's hundreds of cases, hundreds of thousands of cases, not hundreds of thousands. There are thousands of cases. <laughs> of select football out there so they often won't announce that stuff and sometimes they, when they do announce it it comes uh, way after the fact like way way after the fact they may come out and just suddenly six months from now or a year from now they might be like oh yeah those zebras <laughs> they weren't numbered but they were a print run of 30 or whatever it's hard to know Buffalo, you've heard that they that it's anywhere from 9 to 40 produced per card. I know it's low. Um, I don't know, though. I, I hadn't heard any numbers thrown about at all. So you get so that sounds sounds good to me, Buffalo. Well, right. The first off the line is uh, significantly lower production. Jesse's saying that's how the orange was in first off the line. And then, of course, Bobby's saying, well, that production was much lower. It was definitely much lower in first off the line. Derek Carr for the Raiders. There's a Leighton Van Der Esch to 49 for the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, and honestly, you know, as greedy as some of these card places, companies, and things are, doesn't it make you wonder why they don't produce more first off the line? Because they're getting like a lot of money for each one of those boxes that they sell that way. And Panini gets it all. They're not sharing that with a distributor or doing any price cutting on that. They're flat getting the whole thing. I'm shocked they haven't ramped up production on it, honestly. To 99, Andrew Luck and the Colts. And I had also wondered if it was, when they first started it, I thought maybe it's a little test run and Panini's trying to figure out like how well their website can handle traffic and how quickly they can process orders. My thought was maybe it ends up being that they try to sell more direct, but then it hasn't turned out to be that way. Naheem Hines and the Colts, that is a tie-dye with a nice relic and it is numbered to 25. And Traquan Smith for the Saints. Um, what did what did you say? Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bobby says he can, you would never know that they produce thousands of cases because they act like when they allocate it and all the distributors act like they've got like five cases to their name. Yeah, true that. Tom Brady to 199, the blue parallel in the Patriots. Yeah, you are not wrong about that. Sam, you said that uh, other Mahomes zebras sold for over six fifty on eBay. So nice indeed. Then, Andy Dalton. I wouldn't have guessed quite that high. Truthfully, I would have thought probably more in the four to five hundred range. So if it's six fifty plus, that's uh, a bit better than I even anticipated it would be. Donnie Shell to 49 for my Pittsburgh Steelers. Some serious throwback right there for the Steelers. Josh Allen Prism. And another Saquon Prism. This one is, uh, oh, does it not give us premier level on that one? So once again, field level is the most common, premier level is the middle, and then the least common is concourse, although truthfully you find tons of concourse as well. Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills, numbered to 99 with a little relic. Oh, you said there's an article... Uh, Oh, there's an article on Beckett about those Mahomes cards. David Johnson and the Cardinals. There's Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. I believe that one is to 99 based on the pattern. Darius Leonard for the Colts. Jordan Thomas to 199. And Bradley Chubb Prism. This brings us into a little last box mojo time. That's right. This is where we got to collectively work our mojo and hope that we conjure up the big, big hit. Should be right here in this box if everything works the way it should, right? That's what we're hoping. That's what we're hoping. Oh, Southside Collectibles, you said none of the die-cut Mahomes Zebras have sold yet. Oh, but then Sam says that the one that is field level sold for $6.55. Oh, that's not too bad, then. Um, field level is actually the most common base version of the base cards. Uh, concourse is the one that is less common. Field level comes out the most, and Premier comes out in the middle, and Concourse comes out two per box, I believe it is. So all of them you can pull pretty readily, uh, but field level in, a, in the base cards is actually the more common. Now, I don't, I've never honestly paid attention on the die cuts to see how the numbering equates to to that i didn't even really notice if the die cut said i guess they do say premier level field level etc i didn't notice if it varied on die cuts but it sounds like you're saying maybe it does well sam i don't know i personally think the die cuts should go for more because they're not as common but i have not look to tell you the difference uh, on that particular card if the die cut sells for more or less than another type of zebra i have not checked that peyton barber to 99 tampa bay buccaneers you got a pair of peyton barber and then we have evan ingram for the giants jj watt and the texans a little christian kirk for the Arizona Cardinals to 99. Matt Ryan and the Falcons. 
So, Scott, you're saying uh, 250 for the Mavericks. I think that's what Bobby B has in for the Mavericks right now. Um, I think that was what Bobby B's last offer amount was. So, I guess uh, whichever one of you, Bobby B, if you want it, you've got the bid right now at 250 because uh, yours came in first, or Scott is offering to supersede you at 250. That's a Baker Mayfield prism. Ooh, I got to sneeze. Sorry, guys. Hang on. Excuse me. I did sneeze into my elbow, so no worries. Nothing on your cards. <laughs> Darius Geist, 199 Redskins. Philip Rivers Prism, numbered to 75. That's Deshaun Hamilton and the Broncos. Joe Flacco, oi, to 99 for the Ravens. He's not their problem anymore, though. He's going to be a problem for the Denver Broncos up next. But hey, you never know. I mean, the guy might get there and be totally revitalized. Jordy Nelson and the Raiders. He might show up and answer everybody's questions about him when he gets in Denver. You just never know. Kansas City Chiefs to 15. That is Travis Kelsey with a tie-dye. Oh, so you you uh, you thought that the field level was the most was the least common? Well, I don't know. Let's just look at the backs of some of these here in a minute. And we'll find out because that was field level. That's Premier. We're gonna look at the fronts here in a minute too. Premier, I know Premier is the middle. There's another field level. There's another concourse. I don't know. I thought concourse was two per box. So maybe I said it. Maybe I said it backwards. Maybe it's field level that's two per box. But I, I thought it was, uh, or maybe it's per pack and not per box. Sterling Shepard for the Giants. But either way, perhaps you are right, and I have it backwards. In any case, Premier is definitely the middle. <laughs> so that much I can say with confidence. <laughs> This is an Antonio Brown prism and a Jared Goff tie-dye for the Rams to 25. And a Viking base card. Yes, it has been a good uh, break for the Kansas City Chiefs. You're not kidding about that. Cortland Sutton, Broncos. Kiki for the Texans, James Washington, that is the Pittsburgh Steelers to 199. Odell Beckham Jr. for the Giants. Ah, a little tie-dye Suggs for the Ravens. I swear the Ravens have had a bunch of parallels and things tonight. With a little tie-dye coming your way as well. Okay, so... The big hit, maybe the big hit in this box, maybe it's going to be, or in this case, maybe it's going to be the redemption. What do you guys think? Maybe, possibly. Let me get everything set up, slid around over here. We'll get ready for the recap. But before we get to the recap, of course, we have our housekeeping tasks to deal with. And, well, that's pretty easy. We've got a couple of things to do. We're going to flip over that redemption here in a hot second. We're going to find out what that redemption has on the other side of it. Then we'll go to the Panini website where we will verify the team and find out what it's going to be numbered to. Then we're going to use random.org. We're going to give away both of those reward points. So that's where we are right now. Okay. It is... Saquon Barkley, I told you there'd be a big hit in this case. It is Jumbo Rookie Signature Swatches White Prism. So one would expect it to be numbered to 75, uh, but we'll find out, of course, when we get to the Panini website. But New York Giants going home with that one. I got to find my Sharpie. Uh, I threw it down in this box and I forgot to get it back out. Hang on it. Hang on. There we go. That's why I put all this stuff in sleeves so I can write on it and then lose my Sharpie. It didn't do me any good at all, did it? 
Okay, so let's head over to the Panini website and we're going to get this all verified and ready to go. And of course, Impeccable is going to be coming up next. I think a few of you are in there uh, discussing amongst yourselves where we are on uh, the bid amount for that. So we'll get to that as soon as we get all of this housekeeping stuff and our recap done. I know it takes a minute to go through all this drop down, but it is so handy to have it. I'm super glad that Panini has it on their website. It makes life very, very easy. Goes all the way back to 2009. So, you know, even when we break older stuff, we can go look up what we need to know about it. All right. I said this was Jumbo Rookie Signature Swatches White. That is a mouthful. Jumbo Rookie Signature Swatches White Prism, right? That's White Prism. Yes. Card number three, Saquon Barkley. Ooh, even better than we thought. Number to 25, Giants, who up to then probably were feeling a little nervous about their break. Turned out pretty well for you right there at the end. Now we're going to give away those rewards points. So here's how this is working. I'm simply copying all of the team names. We're going to go here and paste them into random.org. And yes, the XRC Redemption's uh, bidding spot is going along the same as a team. I mean, they paid for their spot, same as teams paid for theirs. So they've got some skin in the game here in terms of getting these points. So I'll scroll through here. You can see that everything is pasted in. Because we have 10 or more items in our list, we definitely have that. We are going to do random one single time. After I hit random, the person that comes out in the number one bidding position is going to get 600 Panini Rewards points. The team in the number two position will get the 400 points cards. So good luck, everybody. There we go. It is the Chiefs and the Chargers. So the Kansas City Chiefs, who were already having a smoking hot break, add to their uh, tally here with the 600 points card. And then the Chargers are walking away with the 400 points card. And I got those all labeled up and ready to go. So now, now, now we can recap. Oh, and you guys said I did get it the opposite way. Field level and concourse level, I said I had flipped around in my head. And it is actually the opposite. So Premier is the middle. See, I told you I'd get at least that one right. <laughs> but concourse, the more common field level, the less common. Apologies, kids. I got that backwards, and I don't know how I got that screwed up in my head, but apparently I did. So thank you all for, uh, for uh, straightening that out. I appreciate the info. The Giants, a Saquon Barkley redemption. That's going to be number 25. Nice hit for New York. 400 rewards points awarded to the Chargers using random.org. 600 rewards points to the Kansas City Chiefs, also using random.org. Sam is in at $300 for Dallas right now. So um, if anybody wants, if anybody wants uh, the Dallas for... It's going to be going once, going twice uh, here in a moment once we finish this recap. Right now, we are at $300 with Sam. Andrew Luck die cut for the Colts. That is to 99 premier level. And Troy Aikman to 49 Dallas Cowboys. Calvin Ridley to 99 for the Falcons. Philip Lindsay to 49 for the Broncos. There it is. Man, that's a good-looking card. That is Pat Mahomes, our Zebra case hit, and it is the premier level. Then we have Antonio Callaway to 25 for the Browns. Miles Garrett to 25 for the Browns. And Marquez Valdez-Scantling to 49 for the Packers. Tie-dye for the Ravens, Terrell Suggs. A tie-dye, Jared Goff for the Rams. Of course, the tie-dyes are to 25. I think you guys all know that. Leighton Van Der Esch to 49 for the boys. Freeman to 49, Falcons. A die-cut, Alex Collins to 99 for the Ravens. 
Calvin Ridley to 49 for the Falcons. Sterling Shepard to 49 for the Giants. Roquan Smith to 25, tie-dye for the Bears. And then to 10, Larry Fitzgerald for the Cardinals. Now, of course, we had lots of other numbered cards in here as well. But again, just recapping some of those that are towards the lower side of that, not, not the higher ones. The XRC, now this was its own bidding spot. So the XRD, uh, XRC Redemption Bidding Spot gets all three of these. It is Wide Receiver 3, Running Back 5, and then the Tie-Dye Prism for QB3. So not a bad haul for XRC with one of those being a, a Tie-Dye Quarterback, right? We like that. Oh, Bobby B, you got beat up tonight. We didn't, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Travis Kelsey for the Giants. Tie-dye to uh, 15. Most of our tie-dyes are to 25, but that one was to 15. A little Joe Flacco relic. Followed by a Peyton Barber for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Then you've got... Donnie Shell to 49 for my Pittsburgh Steelers. Tie-dye Naheem Hines, Colts to 25. A tie-dye Suggs for the Ravens to 25. There's another Travis Kelsey. This one is also to 15. So Kansas City Chiefs, two Travis Kelseys to 15. You got the 600 rewards points, the case hit Zebra Mahomes. I mean, Kansas City Chiefs just kind of walked away with this one didn't they back up the truck for them this is uh ricky waters in the 49ers to 25 luke falk to 49 for the dolphins you have another terrell suggs relic and there's dallas goddard for the eagles a relic for rashad penny and the seahawks sam darnold relic and autograph combo to 49 for the jets Chris Hogan, 49 for the Patriots. You have Kiki with our Kiko Alonso with a relic for the Dolphins. I'm used to saying Kiki for Kiki QT, you know. Mike White and the Cowboys. Tremaine Edmonds, Buffalo Bills. This is to five. Mike Gasicki and the Dolphins. Nice patch there. I happen to like anytime we get a chunk of the logo. You guys know that kind of gives me an extra little thrill, so... Super happy with that. Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. Josh Rosen and the Arizona Cardinals. Mike Gesicki and the Dolphins again. And uh, I had forgotten about this. That is Mark Mosley to 25 tie-dye for the Redskins. Robbie Anderson relic for the Jets. Uh, that's Ryan Kerrigan, which I'm pretty sure the relic's in upside down. Pretty sure it should look like that. That's how it appears to me anyway. And it is numbered to five. Then for the Colts, Edgerin James with a relic. DJ Moore in the Panthers to 75. The Buccaneers have another uh, Peyton Barber. Sony Michelle relic. To 99, Patriots, Mike White, and the Cowboys to 49. The New York Giants with Rodney Hampton to 75. There's an, another Sam Darnold, that one just a relic for the Jets. Ito Smith and the Falcons to 75. I love that relic. Love it, love it. Titans, Marcus Mariota to 50. And then Larry Johnson. I forgot about that one, too. Another one for the Kansas City Chiefs. That one to 199. Okay, so that is select football. Now we're going to do our impeccable basketball. Looks like, Sam, you are in at 300. I don't think anybody is uh, out ahead of you there. So, Sam, if I put in my email... I've hit the camera again, or the tripod. If I put in my email address for you... Uh, are you cool with just sending it over that way, or would you prefer me to log into PayPal and invoice you? Either way is fine. Uh, just let me know which way you prefer. 
Meanwhile, I am over here making sure that uh, everything is squared away on my side, i.e. that our bidder hasn't paid, which I'm kind of assuming they haven't because they would have a long time before now if they intended to, which they did not. And all right, so Sam, you're ready. You're cool with, um, with sending it over without me invoicing. So then what I'm going to do, if you wouldn't mind, if you can just put in the notes what it is, I would appreciate it. I mean, I will print it out tonight, so, um, you know, I, I can handwrite it on there as well, but it's always helpful to have it in the notes if you don't mind. And then just let me know when you are good to go. I typed in the email address there in chat, so you should see that. And I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, taken off here. Because the person that bid $414 did not pay it. So there you go. Instead, Sam's picking it up here. So let's go up here and make that change. All right. So that's done. And while we are... Uh, hanging out there. Sam, if it's either way for you, then it was probably faster uh, if you want to just log in and send it, if you're cool with doing it that way, because then, then I can be running through some of this spreadsheet info and keeping things rolling on my side. So if you're cool either way, let's do it that way. All right, so if you did not see this earlier, here's the 411. I am expecting that what we're opening tonight should be on the way to you roughly Monday. By that, I mean if I can get it out to you on Saturday uh, or sooner, I will. And if something strange and unexpected happens, it could possibly slide to Tuesday. But I expect that it should be on the way Monday. That's my best estimate. And, of course... Um, Consolation cards we didn't have to worry about in Select because everybody pulled cards in Select, tons and tons of them. But in Impeccable, it is possible that your team might not get pulled. If that happens, you are entitled to Consolation cards and they will ship out with the rest of the break in this instance because it is a paid shipping break. So that's the deal to know there. So this is a three box case of 2018-19 impeccable basketball. It's a full case break. It is break number four. And of course, uh, you guys know the deal. Sam is kind of our hero for jumping in here, as well as several others of you who, who volunteered as well. Bobby B was in there. Um, and we had a couple of other folks uh, jumping in there offering to pick up Dallas too. So thank you all. I appreciate the, the willingness to each and every one of you who are willing to jump in there and make an offer on that, I appreciate it. And thank you, Sam, for picking it up. And, of course, everybody else, you see your team name there across uh, from your bitter name. And I just need to do one more little quick thing here in eBay. And let me make sure I've got my ducks in a row and provided that I do have. I just want to make sure I have this canceled out and ready to go. Let me double check. Because, you know, I have to cancel the orders in eBay when we resell them. Otherwise, you know, you don't want the person later paying and then trying to, you know, make claim to it or whatever. So I'm just making sure I got my due diligence uh, taken care of. It looks like I do. So we are ready to rock and roll, kids. All right. Sam, I hope we pull you a hundred Lucas out of here. <laughs> well, there's not a hundred in here, but I, I hope that we pull something awesome for you in here, man. I always uh, look for the good vibe kind of mojo for those of you who are kind enough to step in and pick up teams, which, which you know, often we have teams available here and there, and you all are always uh, awesome to to give them a home, give them a forever home, and I do appreciate it very much, and we hope that translates into some good luck for you. All right, so if you didn't uh, hear me talking about this earlier, the deal is this. There are two packs in every box. One of the packs is going to be our cards, well, they're all cards, but one of them is going to be our traditional kind of cardboard cards. And the other pack 
is going to have metal in it. So we'll have two metal cards that will be stainless stars. And one of them, there's little blank doohickeys in the bottom of two of the boxes. One of those stainless traditionally is going to be autographed. The other one is not going to be autographed. And then one of the other ones is going to be our ingot, which can either be silver or gold. Silver is by far the most common, and those are numbered to 22. We have yet to pull a gold one this year. I have pulled some in the past, but we haven't pulled one yet this year. So we're kind of due for a gold one. Now, whether or not we'll hit it tonight, I don't know, but it would be nice. And then once again, those are just the little blank pack filler cards in there. Taking up space in the box so that they all are the same height is kind of the deal. We're going to start with our metal, mainly because they're just what I, I like to look at them first. <laughs> I like all the cards in here, but I really like the metal ones, so I look at them first, typically. Our autographed one is the first one that we see, and uh, there is our stainless stars, and it's Reggie Miller, man. That is really nice for the Indiana Pacers, and it is numbered to 10. So, dang, that's a good start. Well, Reggie Miller to 10. Uh, yeah, so if you get the Pacers, well, congratulations. That was quite nice. Next is... Trey Young for the Hawks. And you see this one has a protective cover on it. They handily give us a little message there reminding you to remove that protective cover when you get it. Of course, you know, it will make it shinier, but also subject to wear. Numbered to 99. So remove at your own risk, I guess. Of course, the Reggie Miller's been removed because he had to sign it. So, John Paul, that is your Pacers, I guess. That's your... Um, Reggie Miller, huh? Well, that was a good way to get things started for you. The Lakers to 22 with Shaq. A little Shaquille O'Neal is our ingot tonight. The silver one again. I do not have... I have a top loader this would fit in, but there's no sleeve that it would fit in. So I have another way that I can get it to you safely so it'll come packaged all nice and safe and sound, but it won't be in a traditional top loader. All right. Everything in here is numbered even, whoops, even our base. So we'll start off uh, taking a look at that. To 49, it is Alfred Payton and the Pelicans. Buddy Heald to 99 for the Kings. Buddy Heel's been playing well lately, too. Blake Griffin and the Pistons. That one is numbered to 25. Here comes our first hit out. Doug Collins, numbered to 99 for the Philadelphia 76ers. Ooh, I see something might be interesting coming here. It's a Laker, and it is numbered to 99. Uh, but it's not the Laker I thought it was. I just looked down and saw the Lakers and saw the guard design. But it's Eddie Jones. So, still cool. Okay, if you got the Lakers, still cool. The little Eddie Jones to 99. Next out, Gail Goodrich to 49. Also a Laker. What the what? Lakers are crushing it. We have a redemption. It's going to sit right there. We'll flip it over in a minute and find out who it is. I didn't even look at it myself. I just flipped it. Colin Sexton, Cavaliers to 99. Cleveland, baby. This is really thick. Is that one thicker than that one? It is. It's the tallest. We'll make it wait till last. Since it happens to be the tallest pack, maybe it's got something cool extra in it. You never know. DeAndre Jordan and the Mavericks to 49. Clay Thompson to 99 for the Warriors. Bradley Beal to 25 for the Wizards. Rod Strickland to 25 for the Portland Trailblazers. For the Houston Rockets to 49, that is Clint Capella. 
Zaire Smith and the 76ers numbered to 99. For the Celtics, Jason Tatum, numbered to 27. Pretty nice. Celebrating his 27 points on whatever game date was on there. So, always good to hit Jason Tatum. And then we have Jason Kidd in behind that, numbered to 32 for the Phoenix Suns. Okay, so we are now in our last pack, which is our last box. So we are kind of already at last box mojo time here. So good luck, everyone. I really hope we find something good for Sam. He was so nice to pick this team up. We've got to try to conjure up something good for Sam in here in particular, and everybody else too. I'm not trying to deny anybody else. To 49, Gordon Hayward and the Celtics. Kyle Kuzma, Lakers to 99. Dylan Brooks and the Grizzlies to 35. Well, there is a Dallas Maverick. It's Brad Davis to 99. Well, that's not exactly the Dallas Maverick that we wanted, but at least we're not sending you home uh, empty-handed. And we still got some to look at, too, of course. Wow, there's Latrell Sprewell. When's the last time you saw him anywhere? To 49 for the Knicks. Didn't see him sign anything in a long time. Mikhail Bridges, Phoenix Suns to 25. There's Michaelic for the Lakers to 99 and another redemption. So we've got two redemptions to flip over. Yeah, at least you don't have to wait very long this time, though, because it's a, you know, it's a short break for Impeccable. But we're going to do the same thing. We'll put them in sleeves so I can write on them in a minute. Flip them over, go to the Panini website where we will verify them and then we will recap. So our first Dirk Nowitzki. Hey, hey, hey. Yay, Dallas Mavericks. Dirk Nowitzki. Impeccable shots, signatures, hollow silver. And our second one is also a Maverick. How about that? It's Baby Greek Freak. Costas Antetokounmpo rookie autographs. So there you go. Dallas. How about that, Sam? I mean, it's not exactly who you were after. I get that. But both the redemptions for the Mavericks. So Bobby B was right. He had a feeling that this case was good for the Mavericks. He was thinking it was Luca. One Luca, but still uh, didn't come out too badly there for Dallas. Let's get ourselves. So let me get myself back here where I need to be first. And then I can bring you along with me. And we'll do our drop-down menu. Let's go find out what this stuff is going to be numbered to here in Impeccable. I know, it takes forever. Uh, let's see. What did I say our card sets were? We'll look up uh, Baby Greek Freak first. Rookie Autographs, he's card number 101. Just says straight up Rookie Autographs. There's Costas. He will be numbered to 99. So we'll get him labeled up. Oh, yes. You also get, guys, uh, base does ship in this. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry, Sam. Yes, base. Everything ships in this. I was just, uh, I was focused more on the hits. But, yes, everything in here ships. Which I think Bobby B answered as well. Thank you, Bobby B, for jumping in there and answering that as well. Impeccable shot signatures, hollow silver. Um, we're looking for Nowitzki's card number 17, and it's numbered to 10. That's not too bad, man. That's that's nice, I think, Dirk Nowitzki to 10 out of Impeccable. I think that's good. I think that's good. All right, let me bring your view back to back to live here with me. Well, you've been live with me, but you know what I mean. And now we can recap. The Lakers to 22, that handsome Shaquille O'Neal card there with the silver ingot attached. 
For the Los Angeles Lakers, a redemption for the Mavericks, Dirk Nowitzki, which will be number 210. A redemption for the Mavericks, Costas Antetokounmpo, which will be numbered to 99. Lakers and Michalik, relic and signature to 99. Bridges for the Suns to 25. Then you have for the Knicks, a little Spreewell to 49. You don't see him signed very often, so I think that's, uh, that's kind of cool, actually. This also for the Mavericks, Brad Davis to 99. Jason Kidd, numbered to 32 for the Phoenix Suns. The Celtics with a Jason Tatum to 27. Zaire Smith and the 76ers, numbered to 99. The Houston Rockets, Clint Capella to 49. And you have Rod Strickland, which is a really nice little hit for the Blazers at number to 25, by the way. I didn't I probably ooh and awe over him as much as I should have because I was still kind of, uh, you know, oohing and on in my head over the Reggie Miller, to be honest. <laughs> this is Colin Sexton to 99 for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Lakers to 49 with Gail Goodrich. The Lakers to 99 with Eddie Jones. Doug Collins and the 76ers numbered to 99. Our metal card that was not signed, our Stainless Stars unsigned, is Trey Young and the Hawks, numbered to 99. This is the one that caught my attention, this handsome card right here. Stainless Stars Reggie Miller for the Indiana Pacers, numbered to 10. So that is impeccable basketball for tonight. Ben, oh, this was your first break ever. Well, I knew you said it was your first break here, but I didn't realize it was your first break ever. And you got Rod Strickland. Well, not too bad, man. That's pretty good for first out, I think. <laughs> you said hi to him at the bathroom in Summer League. <laughs> well, it was indeed Destiny, Ben. I like that. I like uh, that, that uh, scenario. I think it was meant to be, then, for you to have that card, Ben. And Sam, that, I didn't realize that was your first basketball break. Well, then, how about that? Sam stepped in to fill the void for the Mavericks, and he'd never even done a basketball break before. So, awesome. Yeah, I think the Dirk Nowitzki should put you in pretty good shape with that. I mean, Impeccable sells, resells well, because it's an expensive product to begin with. So, you know, you, you I think you came out all right on that one. Mainly, you know, Dirk to 10, I think, so. Sam, it was your second break ever? I didn't realize that either. I thought, why did I think I, I thought you had broken here more than twice. <laughs> why am I, like, off in space, I guess? I've been watching Black Mirror on Netflix, and I think it's affected my brain. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy. It's like Twilight Zone. If you haven't watched it, you really might want to. It's really b strange, but oddly compelling. And some of the stuff they come up with, I'm just thinking, whose brain comes up with that? It's insane. Um, anyway, did we go over all of our spreadsheet stuff again? If we didn't, here, here it flies again real quickly for uh, shipping. You guys know the drill. I hope it to be out by Monday. If I can get it faster, I will. If something weird happens, it could be Tuesday. Everybody's got to get a package tonight. And then, of course, uh, coming up in the days ahead, we've got Gold Rush Trifecta tomorrow night. That's that memorabilia box. Got three signed items in it. We don't really know what they're going to be. It could be cleats, could be a jersey, a mini helmet, a 16 by 20 photograph, a football. It's going to be three of some assortment of that. And then an autographed basketball jersey from Gold Rush, our first case of Contenders Optic Football. We're going to do the Master Case, the 20 box Master Case. And then we'll do Leaf Best of Basketball by the full case. Saturday, half case of Heritage Baseball. It's the back half of the case we started on Wednesday. Sunday night is an off night. On Monday, we're going to do a pair of Gold Rush Autograph Mini Football Helmets. An inner case of Onyx Preferred Players Autograph Baseballs. There are three boxes in that inner case, so three Autograph Baseballs there. A fifth case of Impeccable Basketball on Monday night. And another master case of Contenders Optic. 
On Tuesday, it will be Leaf Best of Basketball case number five and select football again with case number five. So I think that has uh, I think that has got me all wrapped up for tonight. And um, oh, Sam, you said you're you're waiting for your case to select to figure out basketball. <laughs> oh, you got a case to select coming. Oh, that's going to be um, fun. It, it, you know, select basketball in Prism Basketball, National Treasures. Those are probably the three favorite basketball products for most people. Um, of course, obviously, you have Immaculate, which is very nice, and Impeccable, which this is, again, very high-end and nice. But you're going to really like Select, I think. And football is your sport. All right, yeah. Well, I'm a Steelers fan, but... I enjoy watching a lot of different teams play, so I follow I follow football and basketball pretty closely, although probably more college basketball than pro. I tend to watch more college ball and just watch highlight reels of the pros. Is that bad? Probably, but I don't know. College is more interesting to watch the full game, I think. Pro seems more predictable to me but in the NBA, but anyway... All right. Well, that is it for tonight. Thanks, everyone. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate your patience with the unpaid stuff. And those of you who picked up unpaid teams, um, much appreciation to you as well. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night. We will catch you the next time. Bye now.